Okay, basically the way old school television sets and monitors work is they have a cathode ray tube, a CRT inside. That's got an electron beam at the back that shoots electrons to the front where they're displayed back and forth across the screen to create the picture pattern. Now, these electron beams can be deflected by magnetic fields. And just to prove that point, I've got a little fridge magnet here, and you can see as I move the magnet around the screen, I'm deflecting, I'm actually changing and modifying that image because the electron beam going in the front is being deflected by the strong magnet that I stuck on the front. That's a black and white set. You can do clearly the same thing with a color television set because there are three beams, one for red, one for green, and one for blue information. I'm going to deflect all three of those beams. And you see what happens. You get these wonderful, wonderful uh, sort of spiral patterns, these wonderful rainbow patterns that form because the beams are being deflected in such a way that they deflect onto dots that they're not supposed to hit. And thus you get colors that are a little bit unnatural, a little bit, well, sort of rainbow-like. And the moment you take away the magnet, of course, everything's totally fine again. Oops. So how do you fix this problem? What I have here is an old CRT-based color television set that's suffering from what we call purity error. The colors are not pure from one side of the screen to the other or top to bottom. They're not where they're supposed to be. The way to fix that, because I have magnetized the shadow mask with my little fridge magnet, the way to fix that problem is to use what's called a degaussing coil. Here is one right here. It's very simple. You plug it into the wall, it's got a little power switch on the side, and it's just a great big coil of wire. What ends up happening when I turn this thing on is it generates alternating magnetic fields back and forth and back and forth 60 times a second because I plugged it into alternating current in the wall. So the way it works is this. You turn it on and you move it quite close to the monitor and you can see some patterns are forming here already. And slowly, slowly, surely you move it backwards just a little bit at a time, just a little step at a time. And eventually if you move it back far enough, you will get to the point where you can turn off the degaussing coil and miracle of miracles, you got a fixed television set. You've got rid of the purity error.